والله يوم مش بديت من صغري من عمري خمس سنين. I was only 35 when my mother started teaching me some things about it. But she never made me feel like I was worthy of her secrets. When I finally earned her trust, she revealed her precious remedies. My mother, God rest her soul, passed away at 116 years. She never had cholesterol, diabetes, high blood pressure or kidney failure. She passed away while she was preparing a medicine and grinding herbs. She could treat anything and everything from miscarriages to cysts and many more like that. But my mother was not the type to flaunt her knowledge or capabilities, saying I can do this and that. No, we kept the secrets in within our house. One day a lady was approached by a member of a marketing department and asked about alternative medicine. She said I know a lady and her mother who have treated my family and I for many years. So they called my telephone and offered me a shop in the souk. My mother is a true Arabian Bedouin. She walked the deserts and so did all her ancestors. Alternative medicine is a part of the tradition and culture because during their lifetimes they had to depend on themselves and only ate meat they hunted, drank fresh milk from their cattle and ate meat from their sheep. They rode and bred their own camels and the only water they drank was spring water. Eye cure miscarriages, cleft palates, kidney failures, cysts, infections in the stomach, infections in the lungs, tapeworms, and many other diseases. I use oil cooked in herbs to cure headaches. The scent of the mixture is enough to cure it. When the oil is cooked with the herbs, the patient rubs it on his head and it's gone. I smell one day and I smell it in the face. I smell it in the face and then I smell it. The henna is one of my remedies. It has 18 different ingredients. It has hibiscus, cloves, and henna. These are only three ingredients. The 15 others are a secret. Of course, I consider myself a doctor in alternative medicine. Just because I don't have an official degree doesn't mean anything. In God's will, everyone can be cured.